I know we've covered a lot, but I just wanted to see if I could circle back to each of you for any final closing remarks you'd like to share with our attendees today. And Jim, we'll start with you. As an economist, I must say that these are very interesting analyses to do, not something that you're typically taught in graduate school. So some in it, providing questions about everybody being affected in the market is not what you get taught in industrial organization. But it is really interesting to be able to apply the tools the economists have developed over the time to answer this unusual set of questions that are posed by arguably an unusual set of laws here. Thank you so much. Uh, James, thoughts from you? Yes, uh, I, I would recommend that economists really understand what the case law is saying and how it develops and actually read cases. And I would say that the lawyer should understand the economics and how it is developed and being applied because uh, both of them, uh, they overlap completely when it comes to a, uh, a significant or serious uh, class action fight. Thank you so much. Sarah, thoughts from you? And I would say not to be, this is more a message to um, other lawyers, but not to be afraid of the economics. Um, I'm one of many lawyers who went into this field because math was not my strongest subject in school. And so sometimes we get into the economics and we're totally lost or confused by it. Um, but when you get into those weeds and talk to the economists and learn that, that information, it's, it's very helpful. Um, and also to think of the big picture, because at the end of the day, this, there are victims here. When we're talking about overcharges, it can be consumers who are paying too much for their bread or their soda or their pizzas. Um, and thinking about who's actually affected by the conduct that we're talking about can help us remove ourselves from the difficulties of the weeds and think about why we're here. One of the, um, the lessons that comes out of all this is how important your experts are at, at the class certification stage. And I think what is very important for lawyers to keep in mind is the importance of finding an expert who can explain very difficult, uh, complicated issues to judges in a way that they will understand. 